Um, good afternoon. My name is Nicole Jelinek, and I'm the chair of the Rhode Island Coalition for Reproductive Freedom. I also represent two different member organizations of the coalition, the National Council of Jewish Women and the Religious Coalition for Reproductive Freedom. The Coalition for Reproductive Freedom works to advance access to reproductive health care through advocacy and legislative action. We recognize real inequalities in our state, and we envision a Rhode Island where everyone has access to affordable and comprehensive health care. We are a coalition of 21 different member organizations working together to share resources, build strategies, and coordinate efforts to connect reproductive freedom with social and economic justice. And you'll see 10 of our organizations have tables out in the hallway, and please stop by and talk to members of the organizations. We're holding this press conference today um, and this lobby day, March 4th, 2020, the same day the United States Supreme Court is hearing a case challenging a Louisiana law which requires difficult to obtain hospital admitting privileges for doctors who perform abortions in clinics. In similar previous cases, these types of laws have been found to place an undue burden on medical providers. These are the types of laws that work to limit access to fully legal abortion services. And this is part of the national attempt to erode the important protections of Roe v. Wade and the subsequent legal decisions. Each year, our coalition has a number of legislative priorities. This year, we're working to support the Equality and Abortion Coverage Act, sponsored by Representative Kassar and Senator Valverde. Last year, we codified the protections of Roe into state law with the Reproductive Privacy Act. However, this bill, the one we're talking about today, seeks to expand access. For many people, the right to safe and legal abortion means very little if they can't afford the services they need.